what's going on guys it is tournament morning we're about um, 10 or so minutes from first launch i'm not too worried about getting in too big of a rush because we still got about 40 minutes till the line's in and my starting spot's only like two minutes from the ramp but i'm gonna get loaded up and get on the water and i'll see how it lines in all right guys it's 5 30 it's lines in time i'll turn the camera back on whenever i get a little more light but let's see if we can find some fish today all right guys it's still dark but i just caught my first fish a 16 incher thanks sir That 18 and a quarter I caught was right in the middle of this treetop. And of course he got me wrapped around every freaking branch in the tree. I don't know how I got him in. I wish I could have had it on video. But I ended up having to net him while he was wrapped around a branch. And then cut my Texas rig off, pull my line through, and get it untangled from the branch and then retie which usually I run just a 10 pound fluoro leader to my braid on these spinning setups but I knew since I was going to be fishing a Texas rig with a spinning rod I bumped it up to 14 pound mono for a leader just to give me a little more strength Speaking of getting wrapped around every branch. A little smallmouth. I don't think he'll keep. No, he won't keep, but I'm going to put him on the board just to be sure. That's about an 11 inch. Eleven and a half. Don't keep it. Hey, it's fish. That is a fish. That's a big fish. That ain't no bass. Oh my gosh. I thought I was hung up in a rock. If it's a bass, it's a freaking giant. But I don't think it is.
I hope it's a dang drum. Golly. Freaking drum on a crankbait. I figured with the way it's fighting, it wasn't a bass. That is not what we're looking for. That's fun. Just caught fish number two, guys. 14 and a half. Thanks, sir. Sure. Well, guys, it's been pretty tough. Like I was afraid it would be. I caught that 14 and a half incher. Now I'm back at the tree that I caught the two dinks in earlier. Let's see if I can't catch a keeper out of it. I'm tossing around shaky head first. I run out of those black and blue swirl Senkos. But I put a June bug color Senko on. Alright, I'm loading up and moving. I'll see y'all whenever I get back on the water.
Well, I realized I forgot to film another outro, but yeah, for whatever reason, once I loaded up and moved spots, I don't know if I bumped my GoPro or what, but it went into time-lapse mode. And of course, I didn't realize it. I just let it run the whole second half of the tournament, but unfortunately, it didn't make for great footage. But yeah, I ended up pulling up to the spot that I wanted to fish. And as soon, my second or third cast, as soon as I got there, um, I caught one that's 12 inches and then I worked my way down a little ways down the bank and I caught another one that was 12 and three quarters. Well at that point there was maybe an hour left in the tournament so I turned around and fished back up that bank hoping to find just another little one but never did so I fished my way out and there was another point that was very similar to that bank that I caught the two small ones on and as you see at the end of the video I set the hook with about 10 minutes left and I could tell it was a decent fish it's probably a 15 or 16 incher but it's it bit right beside the kayak so I didn't really have a chance to grab my net or anything and whenever I went to boat flip it it flopped and came off the hook and flopped out the other side of my kayak but that's how it goes sometimes I wouldn't have cast a check if I would have caught that limit fish but it would have helped me with points but that tournament was an absolute grind but thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for what I've got coming out next.